How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. So this I thought was pretty interesting. I'm sure you guys heard this. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But anyways, I don't know if any of you watched the CW. Um, it used to be called WB before, back in the day. They have all like the Arrowverse, like Green Arrow. They have uh, Lois Lane and Superman, uh, The Flash, uh, Batwoman, uh, I don't know, Supergirl, all those shows. None of them I watch. I tried watching The Arrow, couldn't get into it. I watched The Flash. I really enjoyed the first couple seasons. Uh, Ebon Thawne. Uh, I really liked him as a villain. Uh, and I liked that whole thing. But as time went on, it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. Like, yeah, it was pretty bad. But anyways, here's an article coming out that after embarrassing... Embracing wokeness and seeing their ratings plummet across all, nearly all shows, the CW is for sale. So they're selling it. Now, if you don't know, uh, CW, owned by Warner Brothers, is actually being sold to Discovery Channel. So that's like, and that's like everything, like CNN, the news network, um, just a bunch of stuff is going over to Discovery. Uh, yeah, CW is jointly owned by Spycom, CBS, and Warner Media, which is up for sale. So I'm assuming since Discovery's taken over Warner Media, that they probably want to drop some things because the CW, the CW has never been profitable since 2006, the very beginning. So since the CW started. It has never even turned any money. This has been turning off garbage. So if you look at these numbers down here, this just talks about a bunch of stuff. I mean, if you want to look into it, it's funny. They sold it to AT&T and then the AT&T sold it. Like no one wants warm media. Anyways, what I found is I like numbers. So this is what I found interesting. You go down, here are the numbers. Here are the number one shows. I never even heard of most of these shows. I don't watch this stuff. Like I said, I only watched The Flash. I saw like DC Legends of Tomorrow, like one or two episodes. Um, I just wish they were better. They're just not for me. I don't know who they're for, to be honest. So these are the top 10 shows. You got Walker, which is, I'm assuming, Texas Walker, the Chuck Norris thing, just a redone. Don't know. That's their number one show. It pulls in less than a million viewers per episode. The Flash, their number two show, which is on season eight or something like that, pulls in 720,000, right? Their 10th show is Riverdale, which is... The Archie series. My girlfriend likes it. I don't, it's not for me. Um, pulls in less than 300,000 viewers on average. And this is their top 10. They have a ton of shows. This is their lineup. This is like they have all these shows. So that means some of these are probably pulling in like 50,000 people or something like that, right? Just like Beauty and the Beast. I don't think that was on this, sh on this one. No. Like Batwoman pulling in. Less than 450. I don't see Supergirl on here. Maybe, I don't know. I thought it was canceled. I don't really know. Uh, anyways, so all these shows are pulling in barely anything. And now here, let's look at some numbers. I just did some quick numbers so you could see. First off, I want to show you something. So I have to preface this. Um, here, I'll just show you the graph. Here's this graph. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me make it bigger. Here, here you can see. All right, so let's go with The Flash, right? The Flash gets on average of 720 viewers. Based off my YouTube ad revenue, if I got 720 views, 720,000 views, I'd make about $7,200. But the whole network, Google and me, would make 14,000 from ads. Now, obviously that's too low. The CWs bring in more money than that per ads. If you go by the Super Bowl, right? And I'll show you the Super Bowl right here the super bowl nbc seeking uh, seeking six million dollars for a 30 second spot right and roughly they're going to get about 100 million viewers which was the average of last year so let's say they get about that right so let's go off that super bowl is obviously the peak of what you can charge and youtube will probably be the lowest what you can charge for ad space right so let's let's go into that. 
and let's see. So based off based off YouTube, right? It's roughly about fourteen thousand. You can't pay any bills with that. Based off of the Super Bowl, now there's fifteen minutes of commercials for the Flash. Based off the Super Bowl, six million, thirty second spots, hundred million viewers. Flash roughly brings in about less than one percent of that which is going to translate about $45,000 per 30 second ad space, which brings in $1.3 million in revenue for the CW. Think about that. You're bringing in on your second best show. Walker is slightly above it, but your second best show you're bringing in. If you get the same amount of money that the Super Bowl commands for per viewers, right? Six million dollars and you get a hundred million viewers for a 30 second spot for the Super Bowl. So let's just say that's the top. You only bring in 1.3 million. That's what you bring in for the flash. Your second highest rated show by a mile, right? Look at all these people you have to pay on the flash. This is a more recent episode. You Grant Gustinson, the flash, he gets a hundred thousand dollars per episode. That's him. That's a hundred thousand right there just for the flash. Then you got all the other people you have to pay per episode. Then you have these random people, right? They get some money down here. Then you have all these producers and everything like that. They have to get paid music, um, CGI, makeup, you know, art direction. Look at all these people you have to pay. And you have possibly $1.3 million to work with for your second rated show. That's 720,000 viewers. If you go down here to Riverdale, which is their 10th rated show, it's about half that. Now, obviously, they get reruns. They get paid for that. They when they send it over to Netflix and all that kind of stuff, they get m money for that. So there's more revenue in there. But the CW is also a massive network that has to pay employees that have nothing to do with the shows, right? People that are managers, people that are walking the lots of these, you know, buildings, renting the buildings, all this stuff. So they still have massive overhead, regardless. So, I mean, is it because of wokeness? I don't know. I really don't know. I, I think wokeness personally is stupid. I think you should just hire whoever's best for the job. And like, this is why I stopped watching The Flash. I can't comment on these other shows, but I stopped watching The Flash because I could not stand Iris. Every time she was like, probably season three, I would just fast forward any scene that she's in to get to the Flash stuff because I'm watching it for the Flash. And then she just, they just put her on the team so she had something to do, and every time she's on screen, all she would talk about is their relationship. Oh, Barry, oh, this, oh, that, we need to be stronger. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Oh. I'm like, I'm watching The Flash. The people that want to watch The Flash are watching The Flash because he's a superhero. They want to see him do superhero stuff. They're not watching it so they can see some stupid drama between him and Iris that she makes up all the time and is literally in the way constantly from The Flash doing The Flash stuff. So, Yeah. And on top of that, every season, the main bad villain was another Flash. I'm like, good Lord, <laughs> just come on, come up with something different. It doesn't have to be a speedster every single time. So I stopped watching it. I mean, the Batwoman stuff has had issues from the beginning, and it just looked dumb. I would, It was definitely not for me. You know, Riverdale, I watched a few episodes with my girlfriend when she had it on. It's not for me. Um... But yeah, I mean, it, it was just cheesy and you're trying to do a superhero thing on a budget of like a dollar. It's like, I don't know. And it's never made money. The CW has never made money year over year. Look at it, year over year change. The only ones that had a year over year change that was positive, DC, Legends of Tomorrow, everything else down by 30%, 10%, 12%, you know, 30 something percent, almost 40% down a Riverdale. And then here's all the shows that they have. A bunch have been canceled. A bunch have been renewed. And they just keep on going down, 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 down. Like there's a couple. Wellington Paranormal went up. And Tell Me a Story went up. But all these other ones just went down. This is the year before. You know, all these shows. Barely any viewers. No one likes this stuff. Stop making it. Make better quality stuff. Is it because of wokeness? I have no idea. That's what the article likes to say. Um, go woke, go broke kind of thing. And that's why I've seen people say. But I think, honestly, the people that are saying it's wokeness, 
like there could be some of that but i think they just want it to be so they have like a story to say hey look wokeness and they use that word and it triggers people to you know make them think that it is when it isn't i don't know i don't watch these other shows i can tell there's a little wokeness in um and the flash it wasn't that bad so i know i'm gonna get a ton of hate for this and you guys are gonna make fun of me forever but one of my shows that i really loved was uh sex in the city and i don't know just always liked it liked it i watched i have the i got the box set on dvd i've watched it all the way through probably like three times i know i don't know why i just do i just do and so i've seen all the movies and the new season came out and i have never seen a more woke show in my entire life and i cannot stand it i'm literally just angry and i i told my girlfriend i'm like i can't watch this anymore it's just making me so mad that how bad it is because of all the wokeness so i will say the wokeness did destroy that show for me i don't even think i'm gonna finish it i'm so upset like I can make a whole video ranting about all the things that make me mad about that show, but I'm not going to because I'm sure you guys don't care. I'm sure you guys are going to comment below uh, how I like that show, but I do. I do. My favorite all-time show is Seinfeld. That's my all-time favorite show. Then probably Friends or Scrubs, and then probably Sex and the City somewhere there. Somewhere in the top five for sure. All right. Uh, let me know what you guys think if this is ruined, like did the CW fall because of wokeness or because of is this so bad it's just so bad it wasn't wasn't wokeness it was just so bad they're so cheesy so stupid so cheap it's just like everything it's like it makes me not like want to like i love the flash but it makes me not want to watch it because it's just so bad just bad writing like the stories aren't compelling i don't even know how it's still on like oh it's just like it was good in the beginning like for I like the you know the reverse flash stuff but uh sorry I'm ranting all right have a good day